Hello everybody, welcome back to Dude Long Couch's Let's Play of Resident Evil 4. I am the Dude Long Couch, longest of the couches. So, since we left last time, I just did a little inventory management. We're still in the same spot. I just organized everything and equipped the Punisher. And now we're ready to move on. Alright, let's take a right. Go down here. I'm surprised I haven't found more rifle ammo. I haven't had any of that for a, a good long while now. And it's actually making me sad because the rifle is extremely useful in this area coming up. So there's your signpost that traps are coming. Can you figure out what it is? Surprise, surprise, it's a giant fucking boulder. So let's mash some buttons. Woo! Always looks like it gets so close by the end. Now, is this the spot? I think there's a spinel up on the wall back here. Oh, yeah, I went past it. It's right up here. It's easy to miss. And any bird's nests up here? Nope. All right. So this is what a lot of people call the swamp area. It's a huge pain in the ass. Just a lot of dudes and kind of an annoying setup, geography-wise. So I'm going to start by blowing up that guy, because he deserved it. A lot of these guys you can kind of kite towards you and have them set off their own traps. It doesn't always work out that way. Sometimes you end up blowing yourself up or getting surrounded. But, you know, we do our best. There's a snake. Come on, buddy. Oh, he's going up that way? Oh, you thinking better of it? What are you doing? Throw that shit at me. Where are you going? Jesus! Alright. Somebody just dropped down near me, I think. And this dude's got, like, unlimited health. You've got to be dead soon. God damn. I like how they just have like unlimited throwing items. Just because like they're farmers. We just walk around all day with all kinds of shit in our pockets. Now I'm not sure if I misjudged that or if the uh, reload time on the Punisher is that much longer than it is on the standard pistol, and I just never really knew that. That that reload time seemed like it took a while. Damn. Alright. There's the first little section there. Sad I didn't get to lure that guy into that trap. I'm not sure why he went the long way around. Screwed me over, though. This section is a lot easier when you have rifle ammo. For some reason... Oh, shit! Yeah, he did get me. That motherfucker. I thought I backed up far enough away, but apparently I didn't. Yeah, for some, for some reason, they're being extremely stingy with the rifle ammo. Alright, this guy should set off that trap. Thank you. And if I can find that snake, I'm gonna shoot him. Because you can kill them and get chicken eggs from them. It doesn't make any sense at all that you get chicken eggs from snakes. But, you know. Whatevs. There's the little fucker that bit me. Bam! Put you down, son. And I'm about to back up into that trap. And they're coming from this side, apparently. Alright. Let's back up. I didn't realize that they spawned in from that... Uh, 
that side of the map. You can tell that they're starting to get a little stronger than they were at the beginning of the game. They're definitely taking more shots, more knives. Knives, knifings. Oh, who's close to me? Somebody's close. Oh, he's down there. Shit, how'd he get up here? That dude was not up on this level. Oh my god. Alright. Let's reload real quick. Now let's get a little shotgun action. Get away from me. Alright. Let's use up a grenade, because there's a lot of dudes here. Got them all. I was going to be pissed if that guy was still alive. Okay. Overall, that wasn't too bad. There might still be more guys up in this direction, though. Not positive. There's another snake that needs to die. Bam! I can hit the snakes first shot. I just can't hit the dudes. Um, let's just blow this up. I don't think there's anybody to draw into it. And there's an item up in this tree right here. Shoot the bird's nest. And we get the antique pipe, which is sellable for cash monies. It's kind of funny, in the beginning of the game, especially if you know where all the treasures are, it feels like you get so much money. And then you reach a certain point where you just start spending it because you get access to all the good guns. And you're buying them, and you're upgrading the shit out of them. And all that money just disappears. Fuck Lord Sadler. Uh, let's see. I know there's more. There's at least one more guy up there. I want to try and draw him in here. Hey, buddy. Ooh, headshot. Yes. Come to dude long couch. <laughs> Fucking idiot. Alright. Where's everybody else? Hello. Alright, I think that's most of the items to get around here. I might have missed some ammo or something back there, but I'm not super worried about it. Ah, I was ready for you that time. Little bitch. What do I got? So I have I have four brown eggs and one white egg. That's pretty good. That's a pretty decent amount of healing. And the great thing about the eggs is that they only take one slot in your inventory. So I try to keep those as long as I can just because it's the most economical for your inventory space. And here's another snake. Hey, buddy. What? That one's on it. <laughs> Five brown chicken eggs. Very good. I'll take it. And still no rifle ammo, though. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm, I'm getting a little upset about that. That section I just played right there, the swamp, is so much easier if you have rifle ammo. But it's just not meant to be. I know there's an herb. Yeah, here we go. Oh, it triggered the cutscene. Hey, it's Senor Cockmunch. I guess they didn't send those guys over the 
cliff. I love Leon's complete lack of reaction to that. <laughs> Just kind of like, well, yeah, that, that seems, seems about right. Oh, that's when you know you've been through some shit. When you can see a giant lake monster come up and eat a person like that, and you just kind of don't care. Just kind of like, whatever. There's a crow's nest. I will take the gold bangle with pearls. And also, I think I missed an herb back here. Isn't there a green herb? Somewhere... No? I'm going crazy. Or maybe it's right in here. There's a yellow herb. Okay, I thought the yellow herb was up here. Maybe the, it's the green herb that's up here. Yes. I knew that there was a full herb mixture in this little spot here. I just didn't remember <laughs> the specifics. So let's combine those. That's a full mixture right there. When I take that, that'll increase my maximum health just a smidge. Which I like. Now... Oh, you gotta have some big brass balls. We're about to cross this lake. First, you can see that there's some fish jumping around down here. You can shoot them. Take some more healing items if you need it. I like to just go crazy and just shoot everything. Ah! I'm just playing with you guys. I knew that was gonna happen. I wanted to show you that because it's awesome. The first time that ever happened to me, I think I just about shit my pants. Alright guys, so I'm just going to cut forward because I don't want to have to make you watch me collect all that stuff again. And we're going to hop on the boat and start making our way across. And something terrible is going to happen. Alright, so, you're kind of lashed onto the back of Del Lago, getting dragged around like an idiot, and you have to avoid him when he comes at you like that, and you have to avoid the trees and the water that he tries to drag you into. It can be difficult because he pulls shit like that, and kind of reverses direction, and before you even know what's going on, you're getting slammed headfirst into a tree. I think those are trees in the water. Alright, you don't want to fuck around too much in this fight, because the lower your health is, the farther you have to swim back to your boat when you do get knocked out. And uh, if you have too far to swim, you're just going to get eaten. Alright, come on. Barely hit him at all yet. Which way is he going? He almost always goes left, so you almost always want to go right. But every now and then he'll mix it up on you. And it's really hard to tell. There's probably a good way to tell, but... I never really figured that out. And then occasionally he'll go underwater like this and pop up at a random spot. And you just gotta... 
harpoon him once or twice before he comes and rams your ass. Did that miss? Jesus. I really didn't think that was gonna miss. Woo! Alright. Let's heal up. It's a good thing I have all these chicken eggs. The brown ones heal you for a little more than what I'm using them for right now. But, that's alright. Please don't come up on this side. Thank you. Every now and then, Leon will just take like six hours to pull out the fucking harpoon. And barely give you time to get any shots at all. Alright. And they're nice enough to give you the little helpful red arrow. Got him that time. Uh, that was close. Got him. That didn't go too terribly bad, all things considered. Oh, but it's not over yet. Woo! So long, sucker. So yeah, that's the first real boss fight of the game right there. Not super challenging, but pretty cinematic. Overall fun. It just gives you a good taste of what this game's all about. This game's about coughing up blood. And dying in a cabin in the middle of nowhere. End of chapter 1-3. Next up is 2-1. So we've made it through the first full chapter. Hit ratio 84%, which is pretty on par with the rest of my average. I did die twice. One of those was because I was showing you that you can get eaten by Del Lago right there on the dock. And the other was because I actually failed the boss fight the first time. Got cocky and did not restore my health when I had half left. Which is why I mentioned that later. Don't fuck around with your health in that fight. So, I want to say thank you for watching. I'm Dude Long Couch. Check me out on Dude Long Couch on YouTube and also at grownersgamers.com. Thanks. Goodbye.